on a perfect night in late November in Toronto, temperature seven. A light breeze as Sacramento's kicks off the 2016 Grey Cup, and here's Roy Finch. He returned the kickoff to start the Western Final, 46 yards, but not here, not with Antoine Bruneau. Sunel was in. First and goal, they surge ahead. Henry Burris, touchdown. Third best team in the red zone this year. They empty it. Mitchell throws Mets among the backfield. Touchdown. First great cut. So early. About 37 yards out. Two for two last week. Right down the middle. In training camp. Red Blacks have gone through a lot of running backs. Jeremiah Johnson, now with the Lions, was here last year as well. Here's Burris, little jump, LeBlanc, touchdown! Just like last year, Patrick LeBlanc has hit pay dirt. Here to give the Red Blacks a chance for more points. From 29 yards out. Out of the hold of Trevor Harris. And Early nails it. On the final play of the opening half. Second and seven. Another quick hitter inside. Caught. Touchdown. Brad Sinopoli has the major. 32-yard field goal attempt for Rennie Paredes. And he hits that. Second and five. Pressure over the middle. And that pass caught was direct touch. He gets up. Lamar Durant is into the end zone. Touchdown. Tied Rush Jackson's record for most touchdowns by a Canadian quarterback this year. And he'll take the right side and has a touchdown. Late in 1976, Ottawa was stopped on the goal line in the series prior to the winning touchdown. Burris trying to barge in and does. Touchdown, Henry Burris. Big play. Need two. Jet sweep. It's Dan. Going short kick the way they're lined up. Red as no, Maber, yes, up for grabs and Calgary football. Buckley comes back in, second and goal. Rolling trip. Dickinson thought about it and then kind of gestured in frustration. We've got to kick it. Clock runs, game tied. Ten seconds remaining. Don't want to settle for three if they can help it. Fake over the middle. The first rookie to lead the CFL in scoring since 1963. And we're underway on the West Coast. Tony Tompkins, one of two men to return a kickoff for a touchdown, has the ball for Edmonton. He bounces outside, down the sideline. 
and is rushed out of bounds. Has been good on 88% of his field goals in the postseason. And he makes sure. Five receivers set now. Second down, eight. Ray rolling, throwing to the goal line. It's complete to Ed Hervey. Touchdown, Ed Hervey. His first touchdown of the year. Similar script to last week. Here comes the blitz. Calvillo throwing downfield. It's complete to Cahoon. And he's caught at the goal line. First and goal, Alouettes from the one. On the ground, the point. Head down. Touchdown. From the 35, the Alouettes are one short here. The field goal is up. And good. And enjoying this great cup. It looks like it. Short kick to the 22 to Ezra Landry. Here comes the little returner at full speed. Gets past Fleming and then loses his balance. Calvillo in the shotgun. Play action. Straight back. Lots of time. Throwing deep for Gerard. Contact. Flag on the play. Second down and goal. On the ground. The point diving. Touchdown. First down. Ricky Ray and the Eskimos trying to answer back. Davis fumbles the ball. The Alouettes have it. Patrick Drew, the rookie, still on his feet. Family, what a turnover. David Duval hammers that one. To the quarterback he is today. Indeed, a future Hall of Famer. Tompkins from the 15-yard line. Tompkins with a burst of speed. Now he's deep. He could be gone. Cody Tompkins on his way. Touchdown. 96 yards. Ricky Bell in the L defense. Dropping off nine in coverage. Ray can't get the pass away. Flag down. They're calling it a fumble. Yes. The Alouettes have it. Second and goal. Short yardage formation. Make it bootleg. Calvillo. Third and four. Big gamble. Montreal blitzes again. Ray throwing deep to Mitchell. He's open. He's got it. From the one. Eskimos threatening to take the lead with a minute five left on the clock. Ray behind his center. He'll call his own number. Touchdown, Eskimos. It's a one-point lead for the Eskimos. They want to go up by a field goal. The two-point convert. Ray rolling, throwing the deep corner to Tucker. He's got it! <laughs> on one of two field goals so far. Calvillo, one last shot before the field goal attempt. Throwing downfield, nearly intercepted! Oh my goodness! It bounced out of the hands of two Eskimo defenders. Straight down the field to put this game into overtime. Duval hits the ball right down the middle. It's good. As the clock ticks to zero, we're going to overtime for the first time since 1961. Five receivers set. Calvillo straight back. Three-man rush. Throwing for the end zone. Stella! Wide side, that's the way that Ray rolls, throwing the corner for Tucker. He's got it! Touchdown! The Eskimos answer back. Lost to hold. Fleming hammers it. And it's good. Inside the right, upright. Here's to the wide. Straight back, four-man rush. It's knocked back into his own hands and he throws again. Wide open! He dropped the ball! I don't know if you can throw the ball twice. That might be the call. He threw it once, was knocked back in because he threw it. You're not allowed to throw the ball twice. So. Two four passes thrown on the play. There it is. A ten yard penalty against Montreal, number 13. So not only do they not get the touchdown, they get down. penalized. Third and 31. Last chance for Anthony Calvillo and the Alouette. In overtime. 
The crowd standing here at BC Place in anticipation of a decision. Calvillo facing the blitz. In trouble. Rolling away. Desperation kicks it away. Ball in play. AJ Gass has it. Flags are down. That's it. It'll be no yards. It'll be the time. And Danny Machocha, the rookie head coach, wins his first at Great Cup. As the headmaster in Edmonton, beating the legend Don Matthews. Penalty returning this kickoff. Edwards to start the 75th Great Cup with a reverse to Daryl Smith. And the Eskimos are not fooled. Better not relax after they kick this ball if it's wide. This attempt from the right hash marks. And he again missed it to the right. Gizmo has a block and the sideline. He has not stepped out. He may go all the way. He needs one block and he'll do it easily. He may not need the block. Henry Gizmo Williams with Elisic chasing him. Scores. And of course, that isn't the whole story. Chomik has missed two field goals, but the second time he missed it, turned into an Edmonton touchdown. This is a field goal that is made by Chomik. He's doing it all year. He's looking right at it now. 34-yard attempt. Straight through the uprights. And the Eskimos build their lead. Comes a blitz from the Eskimos. Renfro still has time. Throws it deep intended for Penalty. He catches it and he scores. Plus a 61 yard pass for a touchdown. From the four yard line, Penalty scores. Second and Five 10 minutes. Eskimos. Mulligan still has it thrown and he now fumbles it. And this could be a Toronto touchdown. Doug Landry will go all the way. Well, Hank Alessic will punt. Bobbled it, and they block it. Now, the special teams are keeping the Eskimos in this game. Skinner. Allen, touchdown pass to Marco Sintar. Well, Kowarik isn't bothered in the end. The lead is four. Chomik tries to make it seven. He must make a 50-yard field goal to do that. A lot of distance. It is good. He'll try to get it in from 15 yards out. Allen looking... And finding Brian Kelly. Did he catch it? He caught it. And it is a touchdown. Right now, the Argos can regain the lead. 32-yard field goal. Chonick didn't have a whole lot of oomph to that one, but... They fake a reverse. Allen has got it, and he might score. Touchdown. He slid in. Second down and seven. A key play in this game. Barrett has it himself and has a touchdown. Nobody can see him score. The Eskimos were looking at passes. It'll be a 49-yard attempt near the left hash mark held by Damon Allen for rookie kicker Jerry Cowrick. Argos need 10, otherwise the game is over. The Eskimos can start celebrating. It would have been a completed pass without the hit. Now, the consistent moving, consistency in moving the ball. This will be it. This will be the last play of Grey Cup number 75. The very best one I have ever watched. And the Edmonton Eskimos have won it. Awaiting the kickoff, 
from Sean Fleming, who was a great cup hero in 1993, top Canadian. And we are underway with the 84th Grey Cup game. And Mike Clemens takes it away from Jimmy Cunningham. And pinball Clemens finds a hole and is up to the 35-yard line. First down, Edmonton with the football. McManus going up top for Eddie Brown. What a catch! Eddie Brown! Touchdown, Edmonton! said his high point of the year was a winning field goal against Edmonton. And this will be a high point, too, as Vanderjack makes no mistake. Third down, and Glenn Harper is in. Jimmy the Jet ready to take off at the other end as Donald Smith almost got to the putter. Cunningham from his 30 across the 35, and Jimmy Cunningham's doing it again. No flags, and Cunningham is going to score. Touchdown, Toronto. This is a 32-yard attempt for Vanderjet. And he's got that one. So Mike Vanderjet is two for two. Danny McManus needs to pick up that four and five on first down. Eskimos two and out, their last two possessions. McManus guns it downfield. Jim Sandusky, and he will score. How about that? Argos with 39 yards and team losses. Second down and 20. Flutie can't find anybody open. He'll look again. Downfield, and there's a strike to Mazzotti. Looks like two and a half to Pater. Drummond again, left side, touchdown, Robert Drummond. Vanderjet has it on the tee as the snow continues to fall in Hamilton. And this is Gizmo Williams. Henry Williams with a crease, and now he'll get outside over midfield. Henry Williams. Vanderjet tried to track him down, won't do it. Gizmo scores. Well, I think he adds so much more of being able to run around. Second and goal. And Flutie's going to do just that, and he'll score. Touchdown, Doug Flutie. Vanderjet is three for three. 28-yard field goal attempt. It is third and three, so Vanderjet's number is called. And Mike Vanderjet, the kid from Oakville, is having himself an evening in the Grey Cup game. Second and goal from the five. Blunt takes the pitch. Eric Blunt near the goal line. Touchdown! This appears to be from 27 yards out. And Vanderjet has made another five on the day. Danny McManus, who was perfect on the last drive, six for six, goes to work. Delivering picked off. Yo, Adrian, Adrian Smith is going to score. Touchdown, Argonauts. Second down. McManus into the end zone. Tolbert, touchdown. So it's not done yet. Let's see if they can execute the short kick as the Esks stack this side of the field. It's up for grabs. On the turf, Argos have it. This was a 4-14 team last year. 15-3. Double blue and Grey Cup champions in 1996. Doug Flutie and the Toronto Argonauts. Off of this 1989 Grey Cup game. The build-up, the hype is over. The players are now center stage. It is up to them to perform. There's the signal from referee Dave Ewer. David Ridgway kicks off. McAdoo starts out from the 14-yard line. A couple of good blocks. And he runs it back to the 37.
This is certainly within the range of Paul Osbaldiston, a 42 yard field goal attempt. It is good. Previous field goal. It's a 38 yard effort. And like the first, it too is good. And Hamilton leads. We didn't need the reverse angle on that one. You saw very clearly that Richard Estelle made the catch. First down into the end zone. Touchdown, Tony Chapman. Good play by Narcisse. First and goal. Donahue Grant at the safety position. Rockford on the corner. End zone. Touchdown, Elgar. Second and 10, Hamilton. 7.08 remaining in the half. The ball is just outside the 30-yard line of Saskatchewan. And there's the blitz. McAdoo is open. Touchdown. First and 10, Saskatchewan from the 35-yard line. Ken Austin is throwing deep for foul. He's got it. He'll score. First and goal, Hamilton. McAdoo, touchdown. and goal Saskatchewan. Austin will put it up again. Narcisse! Did he get in? Uh, it's got to be a touchdown. Breakup record for points in the quarter, 27. Winnipeg scored that against Hamilton in 1984 in a 47-7 win. That ball hit the upright but went between them. It deflected off the upright. He's hit from 42 and 38 and now 40 yards. And again, the Thai Cats enjoy a five-point lead. I think they tried to look like the high snap. He changed his mind and didn't kick it. No way, Lance. Second and eight. Lorenz tried to get there. He couldn't, but the pass is completed. And Narcisse is heading for the end zone. <laughs> With a chance to take the lead for the first time. Tim McCray, but there's a penalty fly. Suter is holding. It's good. Walderston with a field goal attempt at 47 yards. It's good. David Ridgeway will attempt another field goal. And he puts it through. 48 seconds remaining. Third down, Hamilton into the end zone, touchdown! And then Elgard steps out of bounds. Great throw. 23 seconds, the clock running, the time remaining. Mark Dye hangs on! I think they're going to run this football. No, they're not either. Sideline pattern. 35-yard attempt for David Ridgway. It's up. It's good. Yeah, just squibbing ahead. You got linemen up in front. Kicking it to the sidelines into the hole. Picked up there by Steve Jackson. He's going to return the kick. And it's picked up by Suter. He runs it out of 